Okay, we're back with part two of installing Zencart templates and modules. Um, I, f I did get the mo uh, the template that I wanted, uh, which was the ZJ Orange template, not the Sunflower Orange template. And just make sure that, you know, um, when you install these templates, that you install all the directories that come with it. Like with the ZJ Orange, you have the language, you have the modules, you have the templates. And then we have the e extra configures. Um, you don't have to do this if you don't want to, um, but you know I choose to make sure I um, get everything um, 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 installed. Um, so what I have to do is go ahead and change the directory permissions of the extra configure. So let me go ahead and do that right quick. And chmod zero seven 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 and paste and then that's done and then I'll go ahead and upload this to the directory and as you see it got loaded right there okay so now let's go ahead and install a module and installing a module is the same thing as installing a template so we go ahead and we go under payment modules um, and this is the secure payment module that um, I want to go ahead and, uh, and install. Um, so I just go ahead under modules and under payment and install the securepay.php. So let me go to modules, payment, and then there we go, upload. There we go. And there's a securepay.php, and then under language, we go under English modules payment securepay.php. So we go uh, language English modules, and then payment. And we're going to have to change the permissions of this also. So let's go ahead and do that. Highlight everything. Copy. Go to SSH. CHMOB 0777. And that has been changed. So we can go ahead and upload this. And then bam. There we go. Alrighty, so if we go to the administrative portion of our cart and uh, we go under modules, uh, and we go under payment, and we will see the authorized.net modules is what we're looking for no the secure pay module I'm sorry secure pay module and all we do is just click install and then bam it's there it's installed and then after that you know you have to put in your information from your um, merchant account which I'm not going to do because you know of course that stuff is uh, proprietary but as you can see um, it's pretty self-explanatory after that um, you want to put it in the with the you want to enable it and uh, you want to put it in test once you you know in production you're really taking credit cards if, but if you put it in test you know you can put in these uh, these fake um, these fake numbers right here and that will be done you know so um, that's as easy as installing a module so I just wanted to show you how to do that and uh, you know so um, you can install modules such as the editors um, so if I go under uh, easy pages editor you know right now I only have two editors I have a text editor and I have an HTML area editor and uh, so it's switching to that and if I go under like if I wanted to find a page or whatever like that you know it's gives me a default HTML editor but if you want to get something better than like that like the FCK editor or anything like that 
all you have to do is just go to the Zen um, and, and download that from the admin tools and the FCK, the CK editor, all the stuff that you're used to if you're familiar with Joomla and stuff like that, you can, um, you can go ahead and use. So uh, I want to thank you for paying attention to this video and I hope this was an easy way of showing you how easy it is to install um, modules and templates for Zencart.